This question is a GMAT 650 to 700 level problem solving question in number properties. Concept tested is basically properties associated with computing reminders when you find product reminders for a product of numbers. Second concept used is basically Euclid's division lemma. And then we will also step a little bit into computing negative reminders to make the calculation part easier. So, these are the three things we are covering in this question. What is the reminder when 1044? times 1047 times 1050 times 1053 this product is divided by 33 the first concept that i'm going to be using is basically remainder of product remainder of product of a set of numbers is equal to the product of their respective reminders let just make sense out of it in this question we are trying to find out the remainder when 1044 times 1047 times 1050 times 1053 is divided by a 33. So, one is you compute the value of this number, divide it by 33, find the remainder, right? Cumbersome calculation wise. If you had a calculator, you would have done it in a GFI and you would have moved on, but we do not have a calculator. So, this is going to be find the remainder when 1044 is divided by 33, right? So, 1044 mod 33 is what we are saying. So, find out the remainder and then find out 1047 mod 33. So, find the remainder for this. 1050 mod 33, find the remainder for this. 1053 mod 33, find this. So, we actually computed the remainder for each of these individual numbers when they are divided by a 33. Then multiply all of these, right? For example, if you can call this as remainder 1, remainder 2, remainder 3, remainder 4, you're going to multiply all of these remainders and arrive at the answer. This is for step 1. We'll do this. Somewhere along the way, we'll realize that Euclid's division lemma says that if I take a number n divided by a divisor d, I'll find two co uh, integers where q is the quotient and r is the remainder. And it says the value of r should be such that it can take values ranging from 0 to a value less than the divisor. So, this r1 into r2 into r3 into r4 should never be a value which is greater than the divisor. It cannot even be equal to the divisor. The maximum value that it can take this product is that when it is equal to a 32. That is all that it can go to because this divisor is a 33. So, how do we go about it? If I find this r1 into r2 into r3 into r4 ends up being a 46, I will divide it again by 33 and find out the net remainder which is 13. So, this is the process. To simplify things in terms of calculation, we will do something else in terms of stepping into negative remainder. We will do that in the next slide. So, here I am going to compute the remainders for each of these things. So, 1044 mod 33, 33 into 30 is 990, very close to this. 33 into 31 is 1023, 33 into 32 is 1023 plus 33 which is 1056. So, 1023 is where we are going. So, this is going to leave us with a remainder which is equal to 21. So, the remainder for the first part is 21. 990 plus 33, 1023, 1044 minus 1023 is essentially a 21. Done. Once I got the remainder for this, the rest are all 3, 3 more than this. So, we will quickly find that 1047 mod 33 is equal to a 24, 1050 mod 33 is equal to a 27 and 1053 mod 33 is equal to a 30. So, product of these four numbers should give us the value and we obviously know that that is going to be greater than 33. So, we will divide that by a 33 and find out the answer. This still is a cumbersome calculation. What we will do is to make the calculation a little easier. All of these numbers, these are the remainders when 33 divided this, we will compute the equivalent negative remainder. How do you compute equivalent negative remainder? Pick the positive remainder and then subtract the divisor from it. So, equal and negative remainder is minus 12. In terms of a magnitude, 12 is lesser than 21. So, calculations will be that much easier. It is going to be much better here. 24 minus 33 is a minus 9. 27 minus 33 is a minus 6. And 30 minus 33 is a minus 3. So, whenever you find the magnitude of the actual remainder, right, to be a large enough value and by finding out the equal and negative remainder. How do you do that? By subtracting the divisor once from it. If that brings down the magnitude to make calculations easy, let us just do that. So, what is going to be the final remainder? It is going to be the product of this. Product of four negative numbers will be a positive number. If that value is greater than 33, we will divide it once more by 33. This is the objective, right? 
quickly i'll just do things which will make my calculation easy 12 into minus 12 into minus 3 i'm just doing that multiplication first that's a 36 and minus 6 into minus 9 is a 54 this is our remainder we're trying to divide this by 33 we can iteratively do what we did there 36 by 33 find the remainder 54 by 33 find the remainder that product we can find out that's going to give us a final remainder 36 by 33 the remainder is a 3 and 54 by 33 the remainder is a 21 so the final remainder is a 63 obviously 63 cannot be the remainder when 33 is a divisor divide the 63 by a 33 to arrive at the remainder the remainder is equal to 30 this is the answer we have quickly run through this last bit once more we found out the remainders when each of these numbers is divided by 33 we got these values but the product of these four remainders is going to be the final remainder and that value is certainly going to be greater than 33 so we need to divide it by 33 to arrive at the answer this calculation is not easy 21 into 24 into 27 into 30 is still a cumbersome calculation so we switch to negative remainders because the magnitudes are going to be friendlier we subtracted the divisor from each of these remainders to arrive at the equivalent negative remainders found out the product we could have done 12 into 9 into 6 into 3 which is also perfectly fine but again to split it and make calculations easy i picked the n numbers which gave me a 36 the middle numbers that gave me a 54 so here again i'm going to do what we did here 36 mod 33 first step 54 mod 33 that gave me 321 so the product of these two is a 63 63 by 33 is easy to find out that remainder is equal to 30 so final remainder when 1044 times 1047 times 1050 times 1053 is divided by a 33 is actually equal to a 30 choice c is the correct answer to this question